there. So today I am doing my what is in my hospital bag video. Um, so this is my hospital bag for my first ever baby. Um, I am currently 32 weeks pregnant. However, my waters broke last week at 30 weeks and six days. Um, so that is why I've already packed my hospital bag. Um, I could potentially go into labour at any point. Um, or I could be induced at any point. Um, my, I basically have weekly appointments to check on how myself and baby are doing um, and they may decide to induce me at any time or um, go for a C-section, um, just depending on mine and baby's health. Um, if not, he will be born at 37 weeks. So I figured it was just best after I got discharged from hospital last week, just to go and get my hospital bag sorted. So it was one thing that I didn't have to worry about if I did go into early labour, um, that I would have everything ready and that Ben doesn't have to try and figure out what he needs to get. So yeah, I'm just taking this little pull along suitcase. It's just a cabin sized suitcase. Um, it's from TK Maxx, if you're interested. They probably don't sell it anymore. I bought it at the start of the year. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and I'll show you what I've got inside. I packed for more than a day in hospital just because obviously when I was in last week, I was in for 48 hours. Um, and also a lot of the ladies on the antenatal ward who were being induced and things, some of them have been down there a few days. So I just wanted to make sure that I had enough. I have also put stuff aside in the bedroom. Um, where Ben knows where it is, so if he needs to grab extra, he can. Okay, so first of all, in the little zip mesh pocket, I have got a um, hairbrush, two scrunchies, and some hair bands. I've then also just got a phone charger and a pair of flip-flops. These are like the half of the suitcase. So first things first, I have got Two of these. Now these are these. They are the Freedom Mum cold pads. Um, so they're like popsicle pads for your for JJ after you've given birth to help cool it. Um, I've seen amazing things about these online, so I thought I'd pick some up. So yeah, I've just got two of these in my hospital bag, um, and they are somewhere where Ben knows, so that if I tell him to grab some more, he can bring more down to the hospital for me. I've then just got some breast pads. I think I've got about six pairs of breast pads in there. I also packed a makeup bag. Now I know the last thing on my mind is gonna be doing my makeup, but like I said, I was in hospital for about 48 hours last week um, and it would have been really nice to do my makeup. There was a lot of just sitting around waiting and I felt really rubbish and I looked really unwell and I would have loved to have just sat there and done my makeup. So um, I have packed a little mini makeup bag um, just in case, which has just got um, foundation, bronzer, blusher, eyebrow stuff, um, an eyeshadow palette and some brushes, just just in case, you know, just in case I end up in hospital um, for a few days and just want to feel a little bit more like myself. I then have this little bag, which has got maternity pads and disposable underwear. So I have just taken some of the Boots maternity pads and popped them in there. And then I've taken four pairs of the Always Discreet underwear. Um, so that is in there. I've then got a snack bag. <laughs> I do actually plan to get some more snacks um, because my snacks came in really helpful when I was in hospital last week. Um, so I've got some Yorkies, some Polos, jelly tots, some biscuits, and a Galaxy bar. Um, always handy to have snacks on hand. I've then got a peri bottle. This is just the um, Freedom one. When I pick this up in boots, it's just like yay. <laughs> Glamorous. I then also have a little bag for my partner. Um, so in here I have just got a toothbrush for him, some socks, some pants, a t-shirt and some deodorant. Next up is my toiletry bag. So I will go through here and everything I've got in this. There is quite a lot in here. I've got some flannels just to wash my face with or if I'm feeling a bit hot. A toothbrush and toothpaste. 
I've got just a little packet of tissues. I have got some dailies, um, just because where my waters have broken, I'm currently leaking liquid. So um, I just I always have those in. I've got some micellar water and some cotton rounds. Some shampoo and conditioner. All I wanted to do last week was wash my hair. So I just figured if I pop these in there, then I'm covered just in case. Some shower gel and some deodorant. I've then got some face wash and some face moisturiser. Um, dry shampoo. Lip balm and hand cream. Being in the hospital is very drying um, and I've heard labour can really dry your lips out. So I've got my Glossier Balm.com. Then just got a little compact mirror, some hand sanitizer, and then I've got two packets of wipes. So I've got some face wipes. Again, just if I need like cooling down, um, just sometimes wiping yourself with one of these, it's really refreshing. And then I've got these little rituals ones. Um, I was watching someone's video or I read a comment of someone um, saying basically their baby pooped on them <laughs> when they were doing skin to skin when they were first born. And she only had baby wipes with her um, and couldn't shower. So she wiped it with baby wipes, but could smell like baby poo on her <laughs> for ages after. And um, so to take some scented wipes. So I've packed these because they are um, Moringa, Moringa and Holy Lotus. So hopefully they'll smell a bit nicer and be able to cover any smells in case anything like that happened to me. And it's also just really nice just to have to wipe your hands with or just to freshen your freshen yourself up a bit with okay then on to the other side i got a water bottle with a straw i picked this up from home bargains because again everyone says to take a water bottle with a straw i have then got just um some silky victoria's secret pajamas they still fit me so i've just got them with me just in case and um, the top is buttoned down and they're just they're just quite nice and they're also quite light as well i then got my favorite pajamas Ever, which are these ones from Primark they're super fluffy and soft and they again they still fit they are like a size they're like three sizes too big for me um so they're super comfy just to pop on and I'll probably end up wearing these home um they're really handy in case I do have a c-section as well because they come up really high-waisted on my bump still so that's great I've then got a dressing gown um no I haven't I've then got a night dress um for natural birth or c-section and they say after a c-section to wear a nighty because you'll have your catheter in for a while still um so i picked up just a pink night dress from primark i've also got a thank you card to give to the midwife i've also got a pair of leggings i don't <laughs> know why but i have got a pair of leggings in here as well i've then got two of these um like wireless what am I trying to say, like bralettes um, in there as well, just a pink one and a white one. I have got four pairs of super, super big knickers. I've then got two pairs of fluffy socks and just a pair of trainer socks as well. Some comfy slippers. Um, I picked these up from Primark just to wear around the hospital. I've also got some compression socks. Um, I've got really swollen feet at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> I've got two dark flannels. Um, I think it was Zoella on her story recently posted that she used a peri bottle and dabbed with a dark flannel after giving birth um, to clean down below after she'd been to the toilet. So I decided to pack some dark flannels. And then I've just got a towel um, as well. I know some hospitals provide them. I don't know if mine does or doesn't, but I thought if I have one, then I have one. Um, and last but not least, I've just got a carrier bag for anything dirty. So any dirty undies or anything like that, that I don't, or anything wet, um, then I can just pop it in here and not have to put it in my bag with all my clean, dry stuff. The only other thing that I have in my bag, um, which is a little bit irrelevant to my birth, is just a spare bag of underwear. This is just in case I um, get admitted to hospital again without giving birth um, because I don't want to use all of my um, like post-birth knickers um, and then have to wash them again before I go into before I do give birth so I've just got some spare undies in case I get admitted for um, just in case I get admitted just for checks on me and the baby um, 
overnight again. So I have got just extra spare undies in here, um, but that is just because of my situation. And then other than that, I'm just, I've got my hospital notes on top of my hospital bag. And I have also got my, just a comfy outfit. A lot of people on TikTok, I think, have said that they've put just a comfy outfit on top of their hospital bag so that if they go into labour, they can quickly change into this, um, say if it's the middle of the night or something. Um, say if it's the middle of the night or something, I will probably pop this in my car with my hospital bag, my hospital bag um, every week when I go to appointments in case they admit me and I'm wearing like just something not comfy then I've got a comfy outfit with me um so yeah I have this sat on top along with my hospital notes and then I also have um a big handbag which has got my laptop and laptop charger and I put it in there every night um and also my Nintendo Switch just because they were great fun last week when Ben and I when I was in hospital Ben and I were playing games on the switch with each other um and it was just a form of there was a lot of sitting around and waiting so and in there I'll probably pop um some like cans of coke because I love coke and um some more snacks as well and then that's a bag that he can sort of just deal with if that makes sense um it's not such important stuff this is the important thing but yeah that is everything that I have got in my hospital bag um hopefully that helped give you some tips I think once you've watched a couple of these videos it's quite easy to get an idea of stuff you might need again I might need more than this I might need less than this but it is always better to be prepared I'm always going to take my own pillow in you want to be as comfortable as you can when you're giving birth um and you want to feel comforted and you want to be as in as little stress as possible so um yeah take whatever you feel comfortable with don't let people tell you that you should and shouldn't take stuff take whatever makes you feel comfortable if you don't use it then it doesn't matter um it's not going to affect anyone else's life <laughs> um so yeah just take what you feel comfortable with if you don't think that you need all of this stuff then don't take all this stuff if you think you need more then 100 percent take more just take whatever makes you feel comfortable um but hopefully this gave you an idea of some stuff that you might need I might do like a what I actually used in my hospital bag um but yeah that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed hopefully I won't go into labor before I upload this and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon bye